Welcome back to Random Generation Games. We're gonna play something, and today we plan how to survive to a isometric, top-down zombie apocalypse survival game. <coughs> you can play this game solo or play with up to four friends. Um, their server, so it's MMO light. Uh, really, this is the sequel to How to Survive. I really enjoyed How to Survive Part One. It was the first game I put on YouTube. Um, I played it so much I broke my controller. Okay, let's Attention! To him first. This is not a distress signal. I repeat, this is not a distress signal. This is a message of hope that I am broadcasting around the world. If you can hear me, remember that all is not lost. The infection that changes people into zombies has overwhelmed our world, but we can fight back! Join us, and together we will overcome these monsters! Join me, and together we will rebuild a new community! Join me, and we will build the city of hope that humanity so desperately needs on the ruins of this world! Join me at latitude 29.954.6500 Longitude, minus nine zero dot zero seven five zero seven zero zero. Join me at latitude twenty nine dot nine five four zero. Okay, so... This is the sequel to How to Survive. How to Survive was the first game I ever put on my channel. No thumbnails, no tags, nothing. I just played it. I got like 160 videos on it. I went from beginning to end. Um, it was a really fun game. I broke my controller, uh, one of my shoulder buttons with all the shooting I had to do. So, you craft, uh, armor and weapons, um, you level up your character, but the difference between How to Survive 2 and How to Survive 1 is How to Survive 2 can be played online with up to four friends. How to Survive 2 has base building and How to Survive 2 looks better. So, um, I tried the online, but there wasn't anybody to play with. First, let's go into the options. And we already cut down the music volume. And we already turned the brightness up. So, let's go into a local game. Let's start a new camp, because I did play online, but I couldn't find anybody, so I'm going to start a fresh game. I still haven't figured out how to customize my character, which you're supposed to be able to customize your character. Okay, here we go. Let's get into it. So, this game will be on my zombie games playlist, my post-apocalyptic playlist, my isometric playlist, my survival game playlist, my horror game playlist, but this video here is part of my post-apocalyptic series and I'm gonna do another video that'll be part of my survival game series so make sure you check out those playlists and those videos that I mentioned in those series let's trash that I want to make a new character so the guy called back. Welcome to the promised See, land. How do I press the map button to display the map? Your position is marked on the map, and so are the positions of the natives you can talk with. Don't be shy. Go talk to them. They probably won't bite you. Take advantage. So I still haven't figured out how to customize my character. Now, I heard they watered down the crafting system because the first one was convoluted and I, like I said, I played through the whole game. You were trapped on an island and there were other islands you could go through. All kinds of different zombies. Dangerous ones that come out at night but were scared of the light. Then you had your regular ones. Um, press options to join what? So you had your dangerous zombies that came out at night, but you could shine lights on them. I called them golem gremlins, 
because they look like a golem, but they also look like gremlins. Um, you had your big monsters, you had your zombies in radioactive suits from the research lab that could only be hurt with electricity. You could charge, uh, charge and, well, create and charge electric guns. You could build all kind of stuff. But this one has improved because you can build a base and play with other people. Now, the flashlight used to run out of power and you had to charge it up at certain situa uh, certain power stations, but I guess it's not like that anymore. You could also build a lightning suit and when lightning hit you, it would charge a gun. Without the lightning suit, lightning would hurt you. It would hit you randomly. So it had random weather, random lightning. So I wonder what this one is like. And you had like five characters to pick from in the first game, all with different stats. And of course you can level up your character. But what I don't get is, why does my character look like this and why can't I change what he looks like? So I heard this one has bigger environments and not just a forest, not just islands with forests, but you can actually go to cities now. Um, what else have I heard about this game? Yeah, they watered down the crafting system because the first one it was convoluted, so they made it simpler. Um, it definitely looks better already. Okay, let's get started. Hey there, stranger. Don't be afraid. I don't buy. I'm happy to see that my message helped get you. Let me introduce myself. I'm Kovac. Delight. You'll have to forgive me for this somewhat distant welcome. But we both know that these days, unpleasant. And even though I get the feeling there is a bit of electricity, I figure we should get to know each other one step at great. So, let's get. Okay, so Kovac is actually insane. He teaches you how to survive in the first game, but you find out he's the one who's been kidnapping people, bringing them to the island, and he's been working with another guy with one leg who you thought was a survivor, and they bring you to this island, teach you how to survive, and you don't know they're bad, and they want to see how you act, but then you escape the island by airplane, and that's how the first game ended. Now it seems the whole world is covered. Now, I don't like these PC controls for the controller. I'm using a PS4 and I'm moving like a mouse pointer with the analog stick and I don't like it. Whatever though. Good. Now that the introductions are over, I'm going to make you go. I've had too many unfortunate surprises in the past. It won't take long. It's just to test your ability to stay in one piece and up against empty. So, I'm going to ask you to go into the forest and not come in if you decide to gather a few medicinal herbs while you're there. And I figure you're going to need some so Get going. I'll wait for you here. Kill five infected. Find five medicinal herbs. Yeah, you could build like lava boots to walk across volcanoes. I mean, it was a lot you could do in that game. You could build flamethrowers. Okay, let's see here. Circle is my inventory. But, I heard you can customize your character, so... Oh, and you get to level up your camp, too. So how, when do I get to the point where I can customize my character? You can join other people's camps or invite people to your camp. So yeah, this is so weird that my character looks like this. When do I... actually get to customize my character. Let's see, what are the options like? Yeah, so I don't, I don't know how to customize my character. Back to camp. Uh, let's stick with this for a minute. kind of shooting weapons and Some everything. Some of the resources you collect can be combined to make more advanced items. 
like weapons, health kits, and lots of fantastic. Your okay. backpack holds everything you pick up. But we. Okay, so how do you know your weight? Five out of one hundred and ten. Oh, customization. Here we go. This is what I was talking about. head on a girl's body. Nope. Customization's not that great. <sighs> Only three hairstyles. Is it because of the body type? Yeah, it is. So the black guy can have corn rolls. <laughs> That's weird. So he can have that. Or that. that. That's just weird. Okay. Then he can have. Wow. facial hair, a mustache, or a beard, and it can be brown or black, wow. Skin is just tattoos, okay, maybe you can unlock more stuff, oh, but you got 13 different t-shirts. so we can see the tattoos. You got that. You got that. Thug life, oh my god. And you got that. So if I switch to a different guy, what tattoos will he have? That. Same thing. Hope you switch to the girl. What tattoos will she have? What t-shirts does she have? Okay, let's go with that one to see what her tattoos are looking like. took 
like his beard. His pants is sagging. He looks like an idiot. Okay. Wow, his pants gonna stay sagging. This is not good at all. This is not good at all. So you just have to have a flag on your leg. guy here can't have jeans or what? This is not a good character customization. What is the accessories for shorts? So the black guy can go socks only. That is so weird. This guy got wristbands. I can't have wristbands. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I'm missing something. I am missing something. This is horrible how they got them all separated. This is very, very horrible. Just go with that one. I guess because you can get armor. No, no, no. Let's finish.
finish our little mission. So yeah, you could swing the bat or hold it, and, but you can't. If you hold it, it's gonna pop eventually. It ain't like you can just hold it forever. Check this forest out. Yeah, you could uh, hunt animals and everything in the first game. And then if you get them really good, a kill um, icon will come up. How come I can't get those box of nails? Can I beat the car? Oh, you just press the, uh, the sprint button, which it has stamina and it's R2. So yeah, you if you if the kill icon comes up, it's an insta kill. So you can like sweep their legs with the bat, then the kill icon come up and you'll knock their head off. See what the map looking like. I like to fill out the map in games like this, like Path of Exile. I like to fill out each map, and you know Path of Exile is coming out on PS4 next month. supplies we can before we get started so I heard there's not just city environments anymore in this one whoa I mean not just forest environments I heard they got some city environments now ooh piece of cloth that's James Woods character in uh, Family Guy the, the episodes few episodes he's in, one of them they lured him in with candy, I think Reese's Pieces or something. He just kept saying, ooh, piece of candy, ooh, piece of candy, they laid a trail for him. Oh man, my ear itching. Okay, took care of that. I know that ruined the whole video for y'all, my ear itching. So you got stamina up with Sprint, and before it used to run out so fast. Yeah, so I like you can build up a camp in this one. You know, let's grab all these herbs like he said. Hey zombie zombie. Okay, looks like we filled out the whole little test map where he's testing us at. Kovac teaches you a thing or two, but he didn't want you to leave the island in the first one. Okay, so I covered everything. I even climbed up on the car. I'm already impressed with how much better it looks than the last game. And like I said, I broke my controller playing that game. Because you aim with the stick like it's a twin stick shooter. And you just keep shooting and I shot so much I broke the controller. Okay. We got everything. Let's get the heck out of here. apocalyptic videos. I, I'm even putting some Fallout games wow, on there. Fallout 76. Like tons of experience points. It's almost indecent. Definitely risky. If you don't spend your experience... Okay, so let's level up like he said. Camp level 1. So you can level your camp up. Oh, shoot. Um... I want to level myself up first, though. We 
Campus Heart, Camp Level 2. So my camp is still Level 1. Okay, so how do you level yourself up? Left and right is for that. Let's see his video. in the class tell me how we're going to build our new community. Anybody? I just told you. Right, watch the board and I'll explain for the eighth time. So listen up. Creating a new community means creating the best possible camp. To do that, you and your group of survivors will have to kill hordes of zombies and complete lots of missions. That way, you'll gain experience and will be able to increase the level of your camp. The higher the level of your camp, the more your group will be able to build new structures and upgrade existing ones. Camp construction is everybody's business. But mind you don't neglect your level and equipment. The surroundings will become more and more hostile, and you'll have to be tougher and tougher, and better and better equipped to survive. So, is everything clear this time? Look at the board, I'll explain it a ninth time. Listen up. So, that how to survive book he was reading, it was pieces of it. It's the cover for the first game, but it was pieces of it all over, um, all over the first game. And you could read the manual, and every time you learned a new skill or something, it would be in the manual or a recipe. Okay, so, down is for the camp. What do you do to upgrade yourself, though? Let's see here. Now you can upgrade yourself, huh? Sticks and a machete. Simple arrow for bows. Machete and a big piece of wood. Okay, so right now I can make my bat better and I can make a small dressing okay now push your equipment here to change the way it looks attack this E is for equipped okay let's see What did it say? I wasn't paying attention. Um, why can't I change the way it looks in, if that's the case? Whatever then, man. Like 
Why are they doing mouse controls instead of like L1, L2? Okay, I got XP20. Okay, let's let's level up the camp some more. Oh, you need 300. Okay. Good. Not bad for a rookie. Sister, anyway. I think you just couldn't be not too sure of the name yet. What do you think? I want a name that's really unifying. What happens if Don't we speak be to him good? We're going to a seeing as how we are now friends. I guess I should open the door to my Don't move. I'll unlock Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Right. We can find a way of use this goddamn. Okay, you win, stupid mechanic. If he can go find something to fix it in town. A bit of oil should do the trick. You should be able to find some in town. While you're there, you might as well collect as much food and drink as you can. I'll be waiting here for you. I'm not going anywhere, obviously. And if you can find something better, then you know where to look. You can find weapons everywhere. Or make them. Don't be afraid. We're going to a Okay, first of all, let's just see what's up with this island. Oh, this island here is humongous. I want to be able to make some stuff, so... That's what I was talking about with the kill animation. what I was looking for, a stick. Still need a machete though. You have to pick the lock on some doors, vehicle. This map was humongous. I ran around it in my first online playthrough, and it is humongous. You think it's small, but it just keeps going and going. Hey, survivor! You wouldn't happen to have a bit of a thirst there? For water, I mean. Don't know what coins are for.
enough of this. Um, there is like a sewer interest somewhere. But we'll make our way back to where the quest is and end this video. And then for the next video, we'll actually go into town. Let's just see what we can pick up here. Lots of wood for arrows. Yeah, let's get back to where... Like I say, I could go that way. This thing will keep going and keep going. It's humongous. Can I jump off? Nope. Let's just make our way back. It's nice that the flashlight doesn't die out. That was really annoying in the first one. Having to pick between charging your electric gun and charging your flashlight. Getting attacked by the golem gremlins at night. I could be sprinting. I mean, I've never... Oh, gotta do something about my thirst. So this is stupid. You gotta go over here and click use and you can get a stuff to another player. That brought my thirst up a little bit. And let's craft some stuff. Once I get an arrow, I'll start hunting these little animals. Am I even getting back towards where I was? Let's soak up that experience. Am I even getting experience? Let's see here. Yeah, I'm getting some experience. flashlight off. And where was he at? Yeah, all these little openings you see, they actually open up more so this map never ends it seems. <laughs> I'm too quick to not use the kill animation. I beat him down too quick. Was this where we were at? No, this is another entrance to his city. So where were we at originally? If we ever find it again. That's what I wanted to do. Now in the first game, whenever you use a kill animation, nobody else could touch you. play more of this, just like all my other games though, so vote for the winner, if it doesn't win, post apocalyptic game, maybe it'll win survival game. Then I'll non-stop play it. Wow, we got really lost in these woods. I really wanted to use that kill animation. Oh, okay, we followed the train tracks. That's how we make our way back. Yeah, so in the other game, more powerful enemies will show up as you progress through the game. But yeah, I'm interested in playing this online with some people. Most of the servers I saw were people who had level 10 camps. 
what they say. So I guess that's when you'll be doing the most is level 10. Let's try this again. There we go. Give me whatever you got. As a matter of fact, let's craft it. speak to him to get the quest. And that's gonna be tough since I can't find him. Oh nice one. Okay, if I follow the train tracks I should That was hard to do in the first game. You had to shoot them with like an arrow or something. Okay, I see him down there on the map. Soda. Let's take that now. Just make this place my home. it now. So I can I need to improve before I can pick it, but can I beat it? Nope. Okay. So that takes care of that. So next time we're going into the town. Does soda give me effects or something? Where do you see your effects at? Because it has one minute before it wears off, so what is it giving me? I 
cap for too low to level up. Well, how do you level it up? What is that soda effect? How do you see what it is? Camp level two. XP four thirty and I need five ten. I get it. The camp has reached a new level. I don't even have a camp. Okay, well thanks for watching. Make sure to like subscribe if you're not a subscriber leave a comment down below in the comment sections on the video follow me on instagram twitter uh, facebook donate to the paypal check out all my other videos and uh series and my playlist um, what else yeah that's about it thanks for watching random generation gaming this is how to survive too and check out my how to survive one playlist and all my How to Survive videos. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.